Hello team, how are you doing? It's Gavin here from Growing Younger and I co-own the only fitness studio for people over the age of 40. And today's video is about how to get rid of that unsightly underarm fat. Okay, so if you're a woman and you're watching this video, I'm going to give you two exercises, just two, that's going to be extremely effective for you to get rid of your back arm fat, bingo wings, call them what you want, all right? So when you look at the arm, okay, there's two muscle groups that we need to look at. You've got the biceps and the triceps, okay? So the biceps, for a little bit of anatomy, if you're kind of interested, is how to bend the arm that way, and the triceps extend the arm that way. And if you really, that's all the elbow joint does. It bends and extends, bends and extends, okay? So for you to, A, get rid of that unsightly back arm fat that you want, then really there's two ways to do it. You can exercise and you can reduce your calories to reduce the amount of body fat on your body, okay? So we're not going to talk about diet in this video. I'm going to give you the exercises that you need to be able to build those arms, tone them up, be stronger as well at the same time. And then when you do eventually lose that body fat, you've got the nice lean muscle underneath that you can show off to the world and looks fantastic. So today what we're going to use is a kettlebell, okay? And the kettlebell, I love this, this, uh, this um, bicep exercise with the kettlebell. What you're going to do, you're going to grab the kettlebell, and you're going to hold it like that, and you're going to clasp your hands on this okay and what you're going to do you're going to extend the arms down and you're going to do side to side you're going to curl it up to one side take it back down and curl up to the other side and take it back down and what you get is a really natural sort of movement that you get with your arms okay and you really start to feel that one bicep on each side start to work it means you can carry a little bit of extra heavier weight with this one as opposed to just single arm curls, okay, because you've got two arms helping. But it's a fantastic way to overload those biceps. So how many reps would you do? You would do 12 to 15 reps each side. So alternating, it'd be about 24 reps in total. And that's going to give you a really good sort of feeling through the arms um, to help build those biceps up. Now, when I was a young trainer, I was told when you're designing programs for Usually women, if you can make the arms sore, they feel like they've done a good workout. So if that's true, let me know. Who knows, okay? So the next exercise that we got, you're going to use the same weight or kettlebell, and it's going to be an overhead tricep extension. So now we know that it bends the arm, and then you can extend the arm as well. The reason why I wanted to come up into this position, because the arm stretches back. And when the muscle gets a stretch and you straighten it, you get more work done. Therefore, the quality of the exercise is much better, okay? So that's a little bit of a quick tip for you. You're going to grab the kettlebell, take your arms up, drop it behind your head, and extend straight back up. Behind your head, straight back up. Behind your head, and straight back up. Now, if you've got sore shoulders, or you know maybe you can't get the flexibility, what you can do is, if you've got a bench anyway, I'll get you a bench, is you can slightly elevate... If you have access to a bench, of course, you can sit in the back of a chair and do this as well. If you can elevate this up just a little bit, and what you're going to find is it puts you in a better position, okay? And you can take it behind the bench, and you can extend it back up. Take it behind and extend it back up. It just puts your arms in a better position for you to be able to do the exercise, okay? But you can play with it. Ultimately, if it does hurt, don't do the exercise, okay? Um, see a physio, see a professional, that's all cool, and get it done. So with these exercises, you want to be doing about three sets, 12 to 15 reps of each exercise, about two to three times a week. Because at the end of the day, if you're not doing anything right now, then anything more than what you're doing is nothing is going to be better for you, okay? So that's kind of what you want. Um, also, before I go, there's a link down below, which is a submit a question, okay? So what I want to try and do really is provide as much information to you guys as possible. And the only way I can do that is for you to fill out the form to ask your real questions, and then I can create videos that you want to see as opposed to just me making stuff up as I go along, okay? Well, I can do that, it's cool, but like obviously this is about you, not me. So that's my video for today. If you enjoyed it, do us a favor, leave a, leave a comment down below, uh, fill out the form, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.